Next we are going to draw exercise number 7. So, give units, limits, use a second dim style. Switch on ortho and select all the options in the object snap. So, the question is a cone of base 80 mm diameter and height 150 mm resting with this base so this is similar to exercise number 4 so I, I am going to complete the exercise number 4 first first I am going to try a circle center diameter so give a click on the screen then give diameter 80 for cylinder also the diameter is 80 mm so give a click on the screen and give 80 mm then hexagon prism 40 mm and pentagonal pyramid 50 mm so I am going to draw a hexagon for 40 mm to draw a hexagon select polygon number of side 6 select edge option give a click on the screen then move your mouse to get the required position you can rotate your mouse to get the required position then type the on side value 40 mm then again select polygon for pentagon number of side 5 select edge option so give a click on the screen then type on side value before typing the value you need to keep your object in position then arrange the objects so I am going to draw a horizontal line switch on ortho and draw a horizontal line then keep your cursor in the left quadrant and extend draw a line above the horizontal line draw a line from this point above the horizontal line Then trim the part of the lines through the horizontal line. Then select line command and draw line between these two points. For cone, you draw a line at the midpoint for 150 mm. Then for cylinder, you draw a line for 150 mm at the two end. And for prism, you draw a line 150 mm at all the four ends. All the four points for 
pentagon extend the line from center from the point then connect the points like this by using line command Also join the pentagon center point to the corner. Draw a line from center point of the pentagon to the five corners. <coughs> so this is exercise number four. So then you are going to draw axis number 7 up to this is axis number 4 so in the question they give it is cut by a plane 70 mm above HP for cone so for that I am going to offset for a distance 70 so select this base triangle base and keep at the top similarly for 70 mm offset the pentagon bottom line to the top then for the cylinder draw a line between the quadrant and also for the hexagon draw a line between these two corners for cylinder it is cut by a plane 20 mm away from the axis or prism it is cut, cut by a plane 20 mm away from the axis so first I do offset for 28 mm okay next offset distance 20 mm you select this and place here then from here you extend the line Vertically, so switch on ortho and draw the line. Then you select center radius, click center point, and touch this line to get the circle. Then trim the part, this part you can trim. Similarly for pentagon you need to extend the left side inner line left side inner line up to this bottom and also the right side inner line up to this bottom then inside we are going to draw a pentagon so select polygon number of side 5 select edge option then click this intersection point and uh, click this intersection point you get the pentagon here also you trim the line which is goes beyond the pentagon so section of Sectional top view of cone is over and also pentagon is over. Then here you extend a line for you draw you offset a line for a cylinder. From here draw a line to the bottom and also draw a line to the top. From bottom to top you need to draw a line and also for the prism also you extend the line from bottom to top then trim this unwanted line after that we need to hatch the portion
hatch means shading so here we have shading so hatch so you select the inner part here you need to select the inner part here you need to select this part and here you need to select the here at the top you have pattern option you select the and see 3 1 option and give enter so if you cut the cone and cone and pramil will cut at the top so we extend the line to bottom and straight at the bottom portion for cylinder and prism we cut at the bottom so we extended the top up to top and straight at the top portion so then you need to give the dimension and the naming similar to exercise number 4 By using linear dimension you can dimension this for diameter you select diameter dimension option then diameter give dimension diameter first then you can give the name so select the single line text give start point give height 8 angle 0 Type cone, then cylinder, hexagonal prism. after that you type all dimensions are in mm then give a give an extra click on the screen Then give escape. That's all. This is exercise number seven.